Oh, I'm on. Oh, you're on? Wow. What is that, dude? Fish. Good fish. Give it a... Dude, that's a red, dude. That's a red. That's probably the one he just lost. <laughs> <laughs> oh, on the on the little blade? Yeah. Dude. Always. Oh, oh shit, wide. that's a shark. That's a shark. What's going on, everybody? So today I was looking through my comments, and there was a question that a lot of people asked me. How do you make your surf setups? And I, that's a really good question because there's a ton of reels, there's a ton of rods to choose from. So there's so much to choose from, we have to combine all that stuff. So today, we're going to learn how to make an elite combo but before we continue if you want to be elite sf all year round you want some of the best surf fishing and pier fishing tips out here you want to be multimodal please click on the subscribe button and hit the bell notification for some of the crispiest videos out here all right here we go the first modality jetty fishing jetty fishing is pretty similar to any other type of lure fishing there is selecting a combo for jetty fishing really comes down to the rod length the action and when it comes to the reel, you look at the drag and the gear ratio. When it comes to jetty fish, I like to look for a smaller reel, less line capacity, but a higher gear ratio. What I use as a jetty reel is a Daiwa Ballistic. I like how it's light, the gear ratio is perfect, with some power. When you're working lures, you want to look for a higher gear ratio to maximize the action of the lure. And of course, when it comes to jetty fishing, you want to look for a smaller, lighter setup because you're going to be casting this constantly all day when it comes to drag power i don't look for a huge amount of drag power the most drag you're probably going to use probably 10 or so pounds you hear people saying oh you're pulling 30 pounds of drag bs huge amounts of advertised advertised drag power is just a form of marketing to get you to buy the reel you don't need more than 20 pounds of drag when it comes to jetty fishing if you think you can handle 20 30 40 pounds of drag on slippery rocks let me know i will fly to you and i would like to see this in person i want to make a video of that when it comes to line on these reels i use 20 to 30 pounds the lighter the line is better the action of the lure when it comes to jetty rods i look for a seven to eight foot rod you want something that's portable light that's not going to destroy your shoulder all day one of the most important things you're going to look for when it comes to a jetty rod you want to look for tangle free guides the worst thing that can happen to you when you're jetty fishing is you casting out a lure and you get a crosswind and all of a sudden you have a big old knot it is imperative that you look for quality guides and specifically tangle free guides and finally the last thing i look for is the lure weight i typically look for something around half an ounce to four ounces now let's move forward to pure fishing pure fishing is pretty straightforward if you're fishing for slot size fish you typically fish the front of the pier and when you move towards the T-heads or the ends of the pier, you're fishing for big game. You need heavy duty combos that are gonna be able to cast big baits. The front of the piers typically just require basic inshore gear, seven foot bait casters, small spitting reels. When you move to the back, that's when you're gonna need a big eight to 10 foot rod that's gonna be able to handle something around eight ounces to cast. Not only is casting important, you also have to take into consideration the sizes of the fish you're gonna catch. So for a big pier setup, I look for a 10 foot rod, one that can cast four to eight ounces. This is what I use, I use the Ocean Master 10 foot spinning. You can also have a custom rod build, but that's gonna be at a droop of the price. You see, I'm poor, I can only afford an Ocean Master and a black gold. I can't afford this. When it comes to reels, you at least want a reel that can hold at least 300 yards. You never know what you're going to hook into, and having ample line is going to play in your favor. Just in case you have a giant fish that comes up and decides to completely spool you, you at least have some line to fight it. When I pure fish, I usually fish with around 50 pound braid and a 50 to 60 pound shock leader. Like I said before, you don't need a gazillion pounds of drag. 15, 17, 20 pounds of drag is enough. Another important thing. Is conventional reel sizes they range from a size 12 to a size 40. spinning reel sizes for pier and surf fishing range from 6k to 18k and i was 4500s to 6000s all right next is surf fishing this is my favorite modality out of everything these are the roots right here the final frontier where anything is possible dang that's pretty over exaggerated <laughs> anyway so for big game surf fishing i go with a 12 to 13 foot rod for distance power one that can handle eight in bait and an accidental seven foot shark. Got him. Got him. 
If you're starting out, I recommend the Okuma Longitude, the Okuma Solaris, and an Ocean Master Surf Rod. The rating of these rods is usually between 4 to 8 and 6 to 12 ounces. When it comes to reels, I use big reels that at least hold 300 yards of 50 or 65 pound braid. What I typically use are Daiwa Saltus 30s, 40s, and 50s, and I also use an Akio 757. Now my Saltus 30s are mono mag for distance. This brings me to my next point, get a mag reel. If you're using spinning reels, I recommend sealed spinning reels, such as the Penn Spin Fisher Long Cast, the Shimano Spheros, or the Tsunami Shield, the Daiwa BG. And if you're wanting to catch big game on lures, look into the 9 to 12 foot rods with a lure rating from 2 to 5 ounces. I use a 12 foot Daiwa Coastal SP Surf Rod and a Shimano Spheros, AK for lure fishing. Well, that's it. That ain't that hard, huh? Making a combo could be overwhelming, mainly because there's just so many different rods and reels, so many different varieties, but really, it ain't that hard. Rep your gear in the comments, I want to know what you got. Well, I hope this video helped, and please do me a favor, hit that like button, and if you like this video, please subscribe. Thanks for watching. Big red.